men should never wear leather jackets unless they want to look sexy. Ha ha ha. You see what I did there, gentlemen? The truth is, leather jackets are acceptable regardless of your age. Now, depending on your age, depending on your style, depending on your aesthetic, certain leather jackets do look better than others. But the other things that we're talking about in today's video are no way, shape, or form acceptable to wear if you are a grown ass man. All right, so let's start actually talking about leather jackets, all right? Because this one I want to debunk because there are a lot of stupid ass people that say that leather jackets are unacceptable if you're over a certain age. This is so stupid, it drives me crazy, all right? This leather jacket that I'm wearing is clean, it's basic, it is officially perfect for any age dude. Now, if you're a little bit older, right, the motorcycle inspired jacket doesn't necessarily look as good if you're an older gentleman because it is a little bit more edgy, a little bit more stylized. But if you ride bikes, then definitely it's super cool. All right, two other options, right? You've got the racer jacket, acceptable for any age dude. Something like a suede trucker jacket, also total perfection. And the lightweight bomber guys, the perfect lightweight jacket for any single one of you regardless of your age. But you gotta make sure that the outfit is consistent. This is the thing that really is the biggest issue. A lot of guys will wear like a badass leather jacket, but then the rest of their style looks like a boring basic dad. This does look stupid. Second thing a grown ass man should ever wear is an Apple Watch. I'm not trying to piss you off, but the truth is, Apple Watches are not mature. They are not stylish. They're cool if you're a little dude, right? And you're like, yo, Brian, check it out. I've got a text message from Thela, right? Come on, seriously? If you're a grown ass man, you're wearing a grown ass watch. Number three is a grown ass wallet. Gentlemen, if you're rocking a Velcro wallet or something that is packed or nasty or fake leather, it definitely is not grown up. You also wanna make sure that your pockets aren't packed. This is also something that a lot of guys do, right? They'll just jam a bunch of crap in their pockets, totally distorting and throwing off their sexy vibe in their denim, which brings me to number four, which is extreme denim. Whether or not it's super tight, it's super loose, it's super baggy, it's super distressed, it's super torn, it's super ripped. If your jeans are really extreme, you should never wear them as an adult dude. Shorts that come down past your knee, gentlemen, no deal when it comes to being an adult man, including swim shorts. You wanna make sure you're exposing a little thigh, two inches above the knee minimum. Something else that's unacceptable is fake designer goods. Whether or not it's a fake belt or a fake t-shirt or fake shoes, fake watches, the list goes on and on and on. In my opinion, there is zero reason that you should buy something that is counterfeit, all right? If you can't afford it, no big deal. Either save up for it or buy something else. Don't worry about brand names and logos, gentlemen. The fact is, there are a lot of incredible high quality items that are low cost. Something else that's totally unacceptable are Crocs. Period. We're also gonna toss in dad sandals, right? Now sandals, I love, right? Honestly, I love a nice clean flip-flop like a rainbow, or if you wanna do something like this, a nice clean Birkenstock, gentlemen, you just gotta make sure your feet aren't funky. Speaking of funky, body spray is also a deal breaker when it comes to an adult dude. A lot of young dudes are like, yo, it's ex, bro, right? And I'm like, yo, you stink, bro. Bad belts. Now, what makes a belt bad? Well, there are a few things, all right? Number one is this mess, right? If you got a belt and it's got holes, gentlemen, you know the deal. If you move it a little bit, you're gonna get a scar. It's gonna get worn out. You're gonna look sloppy and bad. All right, something else is when you mismatch your leathers. It's critical that you make sure that your leathers match in terms of your belt shoe combination. But you're like, yo, Alpha, what if you're wearing white shoes? Should I wear a white belt? If I ever, ever catch you wearing a white belt out in public, I'm gonna punch you in the dick because no self-respecting dude wears white belt with white shoes. Instead, what I would do, what I do is actually rock an Anson, right? This one is actually one of my favorites. It's camo, but they come in a ton of badass colors, right? The white sneakers, simple, sexy, which is the next thing we gotta talk about, and that is Air Force Ones. If you're an adult dude, don't wear them. Backing up to belts, all right? So belts, gentlemen, the deal is you gotta make sure you're wearing one that is clean, that is simple, that is sexy, that isn't all beat up and worn out, that coordinates with your outfit. And that's the reason why I love Anson belts so much. The canvas straps, gentlemen, they got a gazillion different colors. And the cool thing is that you don't need to match it, match it specifically, you need to coordinate, which means you're gonna add a little bit of color, a little bit of pop, a little bit of pizzazz to your outfit. This belt that I'm rocking, gentlemen, is clean, simple, perfect. Action.
Check it out, right? Look at this belt. So badass, right? I got the gold buckle, no holes. You're like, no holes? How does that happen, Alpha? What is that belt voodoo? Gentlemen, not belt voodoo. It's the track system right there. Micro adjustments. And that is the secret and sexiness behind Anson belt. Something else that makes it sexy is this. Ready? Check it out. Boom, right there. All the straps, all the buckles, and are freaking changeable. All you do is basically get your new shirt. What's that? You want you want gunmetal? No problem. You're not a fan of gold? No big deal. They've got a gazillion different buckles, right? You take this, right? Just slip it right in there, slip it up, and then lock it down into place. And then all you're gonna do, gentlemen, is put that bad boy belt on. They come one size fits all, which is amazing. And then check it, right? You get it, you throw it around yourself with a pair of scissors, you cut it, attach your buckle, you're killing it. Gentlemen, they've got all the colors you could possibly think of. Their canvas straps, I absolutely love. They're perfect for summer, for fall, to add richness, texture, and dimension to an outfit. But their leathers, they've got all the leathers you can think of. They got black, they got brown, they got tan, they got gray, they got blue. Literally. They also have suede. Right now, for a limited time, it's not going to last, so you got to hurry. There's a special link down below this video, AnsonBelt.com slash AlphaM. If you go through my link, you're going to get an insane deal. What I personally would recommend is to grab a box set. It's going to be under $100, and and you get six possible belt combinations. You get to pick two straps and three buckles. And like I said, they've got a ton of different buckles. They've got gold, they've got silver, they've got gunmetal, they've got black, they've got antique brass, they've got different styles of buckles. Guys, now is the time to look clean and sexy. Look at that, all black murdered out. Are you kidding me? Gentlemen, the other cool thing, while you're at AnsonBelt.com slash AlphaM, sign up for their email list because they are always doing like flash sales where they're gonna basically send you a complete belt and give you 20% off. But if you sign up for the Anson Text Club, you're going to get that same belt for 30% off. Guys, hit the link down below, ansonbelt.com slash alpha M. Like I said, if you go through our link for a limited time, you're going to get an incredible discount. But what I'd recommend personally is grab the box set. There's literally no better belt bang for your buck, period. Because literally you get to build six belt combinations for under a hundred bucks. Earrings. No adult man should wear earrings. I agree with you. I agree with you. They shouldn't. That's why I'm so stupid. I do, because I'm stupid. But I'm not that stupid to wear a ton of bracelets or accessories all over the place, which is the next thing that adult men don't do. Gentlemen, when you're young, you can get away with rocking like puka shell necklaces, a bunch of bracelets, a toe ring. <laughs> Actually, don't ever wear a toe ring ever. And don't ever get your belly button pierced. I'm just tossing it out there, right? Piercings are a weird thing, right? If they're in your face, you look a little low class, low budget. Don't be mad. I'm just telling you the truth. Your nipple I actually used to have my nipple pierced and it was, I thought, cool. And then I took it out because I realized I just looked a little bit trashy and dumb. Tattoos on your face, on your neck, on your hands. So here's the deal. I'm just gonna lay it out there. Once again, because I'm your boy and I love you. If you're thinking about it, don't do it. Why? Because there's a lot of other skin on your body to mess up. But if you choose to actually put tattoos or a marking permanently on your hands, your neck, or your face where people can see it, don't be mad when they don't wanna hire you. Dude, but Alpha, that's not fair. Life's not fair. Deal with it. Something else that's not fair is you wearing an untailored suit as an adult man. One of my biggest pet peeves. Guys, the truth is you don't need to spend a ton of cash on a great suit, but you do need to spend a little cash getting it tailored, getting it altered. The big difference between young dudes and mature men is the fact that their suits fit them properly. Speaking of suits, the next thing we got to talk about is some of the accessories or accoutrements of your suit, right? Super thin tie. Don't do it. Super like dorky, like pocket square, pocket square tie combos. Never. If you're going to wear like flowers and lapel pins and a bunch of like gear on your stuff, it's not sexy. It's also what a lot of young dudes do. When you get to be a mature man, all you're going to be rocking is a pocket square, possibly a tie. Funny socks aren't funny. Neither are funny ties. Funny underwear are also something that you as an adult man should never wear. Another type of underwear. Tidy whities get them out of here. Boxers, they're stupid. Did somebody say stupid? You look stupid with a weird fedora on, right? Hats can be all right, but certain hats are not all right. Fedoras are really popular like eight years ago. They're not anymore, gentlemen. And backward baseball hats, they make you look like a punk. I'm not saying that it's not like okay as a young dude, but as you start to mature, the hat should start to rotate around 
to the front. Lame ass sunglasses also make you look stupid, right? Young dudes can get away with wearing like fun sunglasses, but as you start to mature, as you start to get a little age under your belt, mature men know, yo, I gotta wear something a little cleaner, a little classic, a little sexier. And last but certainly not least, a few shirts that you should definitely avoid as a mature man. Any type of offensive graphic t-shirt is horrible. Tank tops, not amazing if they're the homemade cut out ones. They make you look stupid, but they make you look like a Guido if it's a wife beater. If you're wearing a shirt that's too loud, too bright, too vibrant, it also reduces your sexiness. If a shirt is too big, too baggy, not good. If it's too tight, too skin tight, too deep in terms of a V, not good. Too loose, too long, not good. If you're wearing a little boy polo, this is also out of the question.